Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial on how you can basically compress your PDF files. If you have a large PDF file and you're trying to compress it and it's giving you nightmares, I know how that feels. So I'm going to show you three different methods on how to do it online. I'm also going to show you how to do it offline if you are a Mac user. The first one is Adobe Acrobat. This is pretty straightforward and all you've got to do here is basically go onto Adobe Acrobat and you use the compressed PDF file section of it. And I'll just go back to just show you what their online tools look like. So they've got an online tool section here and you pretty much when you go in here you can see all the things that you can actually compress or convert it into now in my case i'm only interested in compressing it into a pdf so reduce file is what i'm going to select so i'm going to click that and you can try it for free now i clicked on select file and i'm going to click on the first one which is sample a now as you can see with this file it is 8.8 .8 mb now i want it to be lower okay so i click on open and then it will basically render that into the platform it will show me three options. Now the option I have is either high, medium or low. Now the high volume basically reduces it to the lowest that it can be. So going from 8 MB, it will take it to 2.7. Now it will be standard quality. The quality will be slightly different. It will be a little bit less than what you currently have. If you need it to be a bit more higher quality, you can use the medium, but again, that does increase the file size or the file size is reduced, but it's not as, it's not as um, small as a 2.7, it's like 5.1 or you can use low quality, which is just slightly reducing the quality, but also it does reduce the, the, the file size. But in this case, I'm going to use a high quality. I'm gonna compress it. You can see it's taken it from 8.8 .8 MB to 297 KB. So that's much more lower. Going on to I love PDFs. Again, this platform is free and simple to use. Very similar layout to Adobe Acrobat. And again, you will select the compressed PDF file. I click on compressed PDF file and literally again, you select the file you want. So I'm gonna use sample B in this case. Again, same size was 8.8 .8 MB. Click on open and then it can ask you what you want. So you can either have extreme compression. Again, this basically is very low quality, but then it does do the high compression. It doesn't necessarily give you the file size straight away, but you can decide on which one you want. You can play around with it. In this case, I'm gonna use a recommended one that they selected, which is a good quality, and let's see what it actually brings it down to. So I'm gonna click on compress PDF file. So I'm compressing it and it has compressed it and it's converted it from 8.44 to roughly about six. So if I click on save and I go into my downloads, you can now see that it's compressed file number B to 695. Option number three is smallpdfs.com. And again, a very simple platform. All you've got to do is pretty much choose a file. So I'm gonna select file number C, select that. And again, it's gonna compress the file for me. And then when it compresses it, it will load up. And again, it has two different options. So either basic or you can have it as a strong file, which is a lower resolution, but even smaller. So the, the strong file will basically reduce it to the absolute minimum, but it is free for the first time and thereafter you need to pay. But I'm just gonna use a strong one for the purpose of the video and click on compress. Let's see what that now brings that one to. It's now brought that one to 375. So overall, I think the best option actually is Adobe Acrobat if you wanted to use that, but you can use any three of these options. So I'm gonna open up the PDF file for the Mac. So I'm gonna open it up. It opens it up in preview. And then what you can do is click on file. The way you click on file, you can then go ahead and click on export. Now the format it will keep it at is PDF, which is fine. I'm just gonna update that to just say compress so that it's really clear that this is the compressed file that I'm looking for. And then you can see where it says the quartz filter. So what I'm gonna do is ask for a reduce file size. So reduce file size, as you can see now, with that large file for the mat, you can see it's compressed and it's compressed it to 1.6 MB. So overall, I'd say these options are available for you and they are easy to use. And hopefully it saves you a lot of hassle and a lot of time. Please do like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Take care, bye now.